Just a quick update from Montgomery. Uh, we're proud to announce that the governor signed uh, Senate Bill 39 last week, which sets up our felony conviction legislation. If you remember, that bill was sponsored by Senator Randy Price and Representative Matt Simpson. Uh, the premise of the bill is pretty simple, and that is that right now, if you're an unlicensed contractor and you come into Alabama and you take advantage of folks following a storm event, you know, and you skip out, you know, you've taken money, you've stolen from them, well, they can hit you with a misdemeanor conviction. Well, nobody gets sent back to Alabama on a misdemeanor conviction from a licensing agency. Under this new bill, those are now felony convictions. And under a felony conviction, you will be sent back to Alabama to face justice if you choose to come to Alabama and take advantage of folks in their hour of need. Uh, it couldn't be more appropriate that that bill was signed uh, at the end of last week. If you remember, 10 years ago to this day, uh, storms ripped across Alabama and devastated so many people and so many lives. And this hopefully will put an end to that secondary disaster that typically and unfortunately follows too many storms. Uh, we'll keep you updated as uh, we move through with that bill and it gets implemented uh, in the various agencies. Another piece of legislation we'd like to talk about today is uh, House Bill 501 by Representative Howard Sandiford. Uh, that bill is one that we've worked closely with him in drafting. Uh, it, it creates a process for all construction licensing boards. It pretty much mirrors what the Home Builders Licensure Board does right now. Then that is it creates an emergency window in the event that the license holder should, should pass away or become in incapacitated. Um, there'll be a process that allows that company to continue operations. You know, those agencies that may not have a process in place, if you lose your license holder, the entire business is shut down. Those employees are let go. Those contracts are void. Well, this process creates it to where that can continue on for a period of time. It's not an indefinite period of time, but you get at least 90 days to get that company back licensed and keep it in business. During that window of time, even though you may be getting it licensed, the company is still going to be held to the same laws and regulations as any other licensee would be. We think this is a, a great bill. Uh, we, can't, we can't thank Representative Sandiford enough for bringing the legislation. And, and it is very appropriate during COVID where we've seen too many companies that have faltered because of somebody that has either passed away or become incapacitated and this hopefully will deal with that issue going forward. As always, we'll keep you posted on what's going on here in Montgomery. Uh, and as always, we appreciate everything that you do.